okay so this is problem number 11 of communication system we have the message signal m of t and we need to plot the spectrum of the double side band suppressed key here which is m of t cosine 10,000 t now let me write the solution so we have s of t is equal to because m of t is your message signal which is your which is given by this equation we have 2 cosine 1000 t plus 2000 t this is your message signal and this has been multiplied by this thing this is your m of t and then we have cosine 10000 t so let me multiply it and then write it separately so we have 2 cosine 1000 t multiplied by this thing which is cosine 10000 t so this term has been multiplied by this term and then we have the other term which is we have a plus in between and we have cosine 2000 t cosine 10000 t so this is my s of t now what i am going to do is that i am going to use the trigonometric property and according to our trigonometric formula we have 2 cosine alpha cosine beta this is equal to cosine alpha plus beta plus cosine alpha minus beta so in this case your alpha is 1000 and your beta is 10000 so let me apply this formula over here so we are going to have because we have 2 and there here there is no 2 so there will be no 2 over here so we are going to have cosine alpha plus beta alpha is your thousand i'm going to write over here alpha is thousand in the first case we have beta is equal to ten thousand it's for the first case so cosine alpha plus beta it means ten ten uh, thousand plus ten thousand so that comes out to be eleven thousand then we have cosine alpha minus beta so we are going to have cosine alpha is thousand and beta is again ten thousand so thousand minus ten thousand is minus 9000 fine so this term has been done we have convert this term using the trigonometric function now again we have again we are going to use the same formula this time we do not have two over here so if we do not have two over here i can remove two from here and i am going to put two over here this will basically be one by two this is your cosine in this case we have cosine alpha cosine beta and now the alpha has been changed now our alpha is 2000 so we are again again going to apply this formula we are going to solve this we have plus in between and then we have 1 by 2 cosine alpha plus beta this is alpha and this is beta so this is cosine 12000 plus cosine now alpha minus beta 2000 minus 10000 that comes out to be minus 8000 t fine so now what i am going to do is that because cosine is an even function so cosine minus theta is basically your cosine theta so we are going to have s of t is equal to sine cosine 11000 t plus cosine 9000 t because cosine is an even function so we are not going to have minus over here again plus 1 by 2 cosine 12000 t plus cosine 8000 t okay so then we have s of t is equal to let me simplify this further so that there is no confusion cosine 11000 t plus cosine 9000 t plus 1 by 2 cosine 12000 t plus 1 by 2 sine 8000 t now we can plot this because we know that the Fourier transform of cosine omega naught t that is equal to pi impulse function omega minus omega naught plus omega plus omega naught fine so we know that 
So here again, here omega naught is 11,000, here it's 9,000, it's 12,000 and so on. So we are going to use this. First of all, cosine 11,000 t. So this will be equal to, we are going to say that s of omega now because we are in omega domain now. So this will be pi into impulse function that will be omega minus 11,000 plus delta omega plus 11,000. So now we have found out the Fourier transform of this term. Next is to find the Fourier transform of this term. Again using this equation we have plus pi omega minus 9000 and the delta function which is the impulse function omega plus 9000. Fine. So now this term has also been done. Then we have this term over here. So we have 1 by 2 also. So this means that we are going to have plus pi divided by 2. Again the delta function and this time we have omega naught is in this case is 12,000. So we are going to have 12,000 plus omega plus 12,000. So this term is also done and then finally we have this term. So this is again plus pi by 2. Then we have omega minus 8,000 plus delta omega plus 8,000. So now we are good to go. Now we can plot this in frequency domain. So here is the spectrum of this signal. This signal is located at 11,000. It is an impulse signal which is located at 11,000. So we have an 11,000 signal over here and the amplitude is pi. Similarly, we have a signal at minus 11,000 as well because this signal is located at minus 11,000 which is an impulse function. Similarly, plus 9000 and minus 9000 with the amplitude of pi. So you have plus 9000 minus 9000 with the amplitude of pi. Then we have a signal at 12000 and, and at minus 12000 with the amplitude of pi by 2. So these two are that signal. This is at plus 12000 at minus 12000 with the amplitude of pi by 2. Finally, at plus 8000 and minus 8000 with the amplitude of pi by 2. So we have at plus 8000 and minus 8000 with the amplitude of pi by 2. So this is the signal plotted in the omega domain. Now if you notice this signal is double side when suppressed carrier signal. Why? Because in this case the carrier signal was of the frequency 10,000 T and we have no signal at 10,000 T. That is why the carrier is suppressed. Thank you.